right Atlas One, represent the CBS crew since about 98. Can't be stopped, California Bomb Squad. I had an older brother that started doing graph in the mid 80s, and all his older friends that were doing it in high school kind of gave me a, an outlook on what graffiti was all about and going out and tagging, getting the adrenaline of the art. My brother started writing graph in junior high also, and he was in a crew called VIP, which is in uh, San Gabriel Valley, like the mid 80s, and he wrote Rebel. <laughs> Yeah, from there I used to see all their sketches and their notebooks and all their different tags and I just thought it was the craziest thing, you know, like something aside from what I was used to seeing. Uh, I grew up in El Sereno, uh, between like uh, Lincoln Heights and South Pasadena. About 92 we had a crew called TCD and uh, everywhere we went uh, we were always getting lost. And I, didn't, I didn't know how to drive then but I knew my way around the streets. So my friends were like, man, we should call you Atlas, man. You know your way around town. And you have to be crazy to do it. Like, I mean, just to be able to be an artist, I think most people are crazy because it's, it's an outlet, you know what I mean? And without an outlet, you pretty much go haywire. I only represent CBS right now. There's been a few other crews I represented in the past, like Stepping Stones to where I'm at now. I still have WGS running, it's one of my old labels. Uh, it's, uh, we got skills. Uh, crew that Vox made up. And uh, Vox was already in CBS, and so was Epic. And so that, that was kind of like my foot in the door, so to speak. Go out with a uh, mitz, the ouncer, alloy, just uh, whoever's really down to go out and paint. I mean, illegally, basically. I mean, I paint a lot of legal laws with the crew, but uh, I get more of my, I get more fun and adrenaline out of going out behind. Grab, I don't, I don't like anything that has to do with it other than the actual act of 
the art, you know, like the spraying paint. Like, because the scene's whack, like, the culture's whack. To me, all that shit is whack. It's like, I'm not down, I'm not feeling any of that, man. I think, like, for me, it's changed only, like, the progress and, and, uh, just playing an important role in my life since I've given, like, the best years of my, my youth to, to voted to graph, you know? Like, I have a hard time trying to uh, deal with, like, our relationships or, uh, trying to do my other hobbies that I try to do is like somehow like it's hard for me to compare it to graph because graph has always been there and like it's always been something that I always uh, kind of build on. You know? Yeah my paintings always uh, hit up my girlfriend Maria. She, yeah, that's my girl. Los Angeles, Pomona, Los Angeles, Pomona, and uh, San Bernardino. There's a lot of train spots we all, we all head out to. I paint a lot of her, her, her name too. I painted her name a bunch of times on trains. She likes looking at. She appreciates art and everything. And she likes seeing her her name on trains. I guess you know. Like, who wouldn't you know? <laughs> like, I think uh, graph's definitely a, an upcoming thing. It, it's been around. You know, it's not going anywhere. More kids are more involved. The standards now are becoming uh, way higher than they used to be. Before it didn't take much to be somebody. Now you gotta pretty much be amazing to get recognized. Especially in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, you know, there's a bunch of critics, a lot of talent, and uh, if you're not somebody that's putting it down, uh, you're pretty much not going to be uh, well represented. It's, it's hard to like make a name for yourself out here in Los Angeles. Like you either up a lot or you just got really good skills. It's, it's sad, you know. I mean, that it has to come down to that, you know. It shouldn't even be about what uh, people think or, uh, you know, it's just all about yourself and how you carry yourself and how your art represents yourself. The spots are getting crazier and it's taking more to do it, you know what I mean? It's no longer just one guy looking out for you. It's like, you want to talk to you, he's gonna, you know, tarps, harnesses, like, whatever it takes to, you know, to pull it. I don't look at somebody's art and and think, oh, like who do they got beef with, or you know what I mean? What their personal life is like, I can care less. Like their work speaks speaks to me, and that's it. You know, like that's how I, I would I would be if I went if I when I travel. Like I look at art, and I don't think about the politics the guy in the city amongst other crews or friends or anything like that. You know, people that come to LA to see my stuff. Like that's all that matters. You know, like if it's just dope and it's burning, that's all that, that's all it is. You know.